So, Yankee RC here, and today's the big day. Um, just got a call from my local hobby shop, and the sledge is in, so I'm heading there to pick it up right now. I'll be doing an unboxing shortly. So, Yankee RC here. We're on our way to get the new sledge. Had to stop to get a little gas. We ain't even filling up. <laughs> So this is the display model at my local hobby shop. Like most hobby shops, you can see that they got in the green model. Loving the way this car looks. Love the sledgehammer tires, the wing. But if you take a look right here, this is mine. I'll be walking out of there with this one. Here I am. Got my new sledge heading home. Yep. Okay. So you can see guys, what we have here is we have the new Traxxas Sledge. Um, it's day one of the release, and I was fortunate enough to get a call from my hobby shop today. Shout out to my favorite hobby store, Tech Toys in Parsippany, New Jersey. They gave me a call today, and we got our hands on the new Traxxas Sledge. So we're gonna be doing an unboxing right here, right now. So let's get started, let's pop this baby open. So there it is, the new Traxxas Sledge. I'm just gonna go around the box a little here. So you can see we got the VXL Success, the larger battery tray, the diffs, the giant diffs that they have in this thing, which will really help uh, deal with that uh, Success power. Because of course we're gonna be running this thing on Success center drive train with the center diff. The clipless body mounting, which I actually have loved. I actually got to try it out in the store before I picked this one up. So I actually love it. And these new larger shocks. So you see we got the sledgehammer tires they're referencing here. Waterproof electronics, All most tractors vehicles have that the cast aluminum motor cradle, the T-bar aluminum chassis brace, right down the middle there, the wing and the metal gear servo. Let's go around to the other side here and we can just rip off the little tag that they put my name on here for. I'm gonna cover up that little price thing that my hobby shop work, uh, does. I don't wanna get them in any trouble. But you can see it got the blue one. Front side of the box. Front side of the box here. Nothing but the Traxxas support line. The 1-800 number, email address. And over here, can see so we have to reach that 70 mile per hour we're gonna have the to get the 1846 and let's see the stock gearing is what is 1352 so the stock gearing is 1352 and that's if you reach us 55 miles an hour now, I will be honest, for me, 55 miles an hour, if, if it can do 50 plus miles an hour on the uh, dirt, I'll probably leave it to stop. Okay, so let's get to this unboxing now. We need to get Knife. Okay, so grab a pair of scissors here. Let's cut this baby open. Nothing like that new RC step. So we got the TQI. I need another one of these. 
only one person that can only draw one car at a time. And of course, I have it upside down. Flip this baby over. that I went with the blue. So you can see here that I went with the blue. I'm gonna take this body off. That new RC body. Smell that new RC smell. So, um, like I said, so you have the standard Traxxas bag, bag of goodies here. Um, Looks like they give you a bypass in here so you can run a single four cell battery. I've so these are, the, these are the new sledgehammer tires. I may be getting some of these for my Erevo. I really like these on my um, Haas. I don't have these for my Rustler, but I do have them for my X-Max. And I really do like these tires. So I may be getting some of these for my Erevo. Clipless body. Now, I will be honest. I usually do all of my cars in blue. I like blue, it's my favorite color. But um, in order to have a little variety, I was actually looking to get this one in red. But I ended up getting the blue because since Traxxas is making all of the anodized shocks and everything underneath the car on all cars, whether you get the green one, the red one, the orange one, or the blue one, all the anodized pieces are blue. I decided to stay with the blue. This way I wouldn't have to worry about replacing all this stuff to make it match. So um, I just unclipped the body. So we're gonna take this body off real quick. And you can see that tongue in here. That is a nice large tongue. Now, anybody who's used the clipless body system that Traxxas has been using for a few years now with the E-Revo or the X-Max or the Rustler, the Haas, or the Max knows that when you nosedive or you crash into something, because the clipless body system actually was clipping, the tongue actually went in this way into the, uh, into the, um, clip there so when you crashed or anything into it it would actually push the body in it would actually push the body in and push the tongue out and that's why your body would fly off with the tongue going in the opposite way on the sled the tongue now actually goes in this way so when you crash you're actually just pushing the tongue in deeper for lack of a better term you're getting a more secure connection now, don't know if you hit anything hard, if that's going to eventually crack, but you know, we'll learn that and we'll figure that out. But you can see they have the body framing in here to support everything, help keep your body fresh. I personally, I tape all of my bodies. I um, use duct tape, uh, not gorilla tape, excuse me, to tape all my bodies to help them last longer. So I will be gorilla taping this body. Now you can see the shocks up here and those are nice beefy shocks. This is the T-bar. And you can see right here how they have that bar set up so it's supposed to be stronger
you can see up here they have the motor mount. Now, all of my research shows that this is a 35 millimeter, um, excuse me, you would need a 35 millimeter fan to mount here. So I'll let you guys know soon if the 35 millimeter is the one that fits. Hopefully it'll save somebody some money and they won't buy a 30 millimeter fan and find out it doesn't fit up here. Now, one of the interesting things that I don't think anybody has noted, when I read the verbiage on the website, they said that this was a redesigned ESC, or that at least there's new software involved with this ESC. So maybe, maybe there's new software and new hardware, I should say, with this ESC. So maybe that will help these ESCs be a little more reliable and give you a little more punch. And you can see back here, you have the guards to hopefully keep debris off of your rear axle. And here's the wing. Uh, now, when I was looking at this wing, I love the way they have this wing is mounted. Let's take a look at it from the back. So you can see how Traxxas has this wing. They have two really huge supports on this wing. And from the videos that I've seen it running, this wing looks like it can, um, you know, it can take a pounding. Uh, my my E-Revo wing breaks all the time. So I may, you know, I don't know if the mounts on here are the same dimensions as my E-Revo. Maybe that's something I'll check for you guys. I may be putting one of these wings on my E-Revo. And finally, you can see, make sure I don't scratch up this coffee table. Um, this wonderful blue housing. This is not going to last. Now, I'll be honest, I'm new to getting an RC with an aluminum chassis. One of the first concerns that I had was the fact that the, um, this gear is open. And the first concern that I had was that, you know, a rock could get up in there and it could mess up your pinion or your spur gear. But um, after talking to a few guys who run uh, cars with metal chassis for a minute and look, doing some other research, uh, most metal chassis cars have this open slot down here. So, I mean, it's, it's just something for my clarification, something I did not know. So it must not be a huge issue. Now here is the front bumper. Once again, looks, um, the front bumper, I mean, I mean, I don't even know if you want to call this a bumper. I mean, it's not going to absorb anything. If you hit anything, it's going straight into there. So, but I'm wondering why, if you guys know, they put a small little rubber um, brace on the X-Max that goes in between the bumper in here. I wonder why they didn't do that here, but we'll see. All right, so what we're doing right here is just a quick size comparison um, of the new sledge. You can see that I have it lined up with the e Revo here. Front tires are lined up exactly. You can see the sledge is slightly longer on the back end here. So, I mean, these two cars are um, basically the same size, but the sledge has, you know, probably about an inch, maybe a little more, as far as the wheelbase is concerned. So now you can see we have the max down here with it and you can see how the how much bigger the sledge is than the max. Once again, got the front wheels lined up pretty close. You can see the max, the max, uh, the sledge probably has that by a good two inches on the back side here. Okay, and lastly right here you have X-Max and you can see how much how the sledge compares to the X-Max and how the X-Max just towers over it 
um, height and length wise. Okay, so what I'm showing right here is how much does the sledge actually weigh compared to my Revo? So there you can see, my sledge weighs about 12 pounds. Now understand that I have, I have this sitting on a stand, so I don't know how much the stand weighs, but I'm just trying to get a comparison to the Revo. So it weighs 12.8 pounds, you guys can see that. Here's the weight of my Revo. I don't know if you guys can see that, but my Revo weighs 12.6 pounds, same stand, same stuff that was in the stand. So the sledge is only 0.2 pounds. So the sledge is only 0.2 pounds heavier than the Revo. All right, so one of the questions that I asked was, would the E-Revo wing fit the uh, Traxxas sledge, well, actually, really vice versa, would the Traxxas sledge wing fit the um, E Revo? And it really would depend on, it really would depend on these, uh, where these holes are right here, you know. So, my unscientific way of doing this is I just took an E Revo wing and I placed it on top of here. And what I did was, and once again, this is very unscientific. I, sh I uh, shined a light through the holes and looks like the light came right down on top of these screws. So, so it looks like the light came right down on top of these screws. So maybe um, the e -re maybe this wing can be um, ported over to the E-Revo. It's an interesting thing. So we're back in the workshop. Um, I, I, you know, I've completed the unboxing of the sledge. I really can't wait to get this thing out and get a couple of runs on it, see what she can do, uh, do a comparison with this and the E Revo for some speed and some other options. You know, see how they compare. Um, I'm waiting on Traxxas to hopefully release a wheelie bar. I think this thing. You know, should have some type of wheelie bar that you can connect here. So you can, if, if you so desire, you can keep the uh, wheels down, especially um, if you're uh, doing any type of racing, keep the front wheels down. But overall, super excited to get this car out, to get racing with it, to get bashing with it, and let's see what she's made of. This is Yankee RC, and I'll see you out there soon. Get out there and break something.